Hi there everyone, my name is George and welcome back to another video out here in the Med Shack. It's a very cold wet day here and uh, I have the heater on but it's still a little bit cold out here. Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to make uh, an accessory port adapter for your ICOM IC7300. We'll be using a 13 pin DIN plug that plugs into the accessory port on the radio and we'll feed that into a project box. Uh, the box I'm using is a little bit big, it's all I kind of have lying around the place, but it'll do for demonstration purposes. So on the outside of that box we're going to have some female RCA sockets and uh, you can adapt the design and add or subtract um, as many different functions as you want. Uh, foot switch, uh, audio out, 13.8 uh, volts out to uh, power very small accessories up to one amp uh, so that's down to you all the information on the pinouts of this socket are in your manual in the connector section and uh, you can use the tail that came in the box there's a pre-wired uh, 13 pin din uh, plug uh, with the wires coming out about well, maybe 4 or 5 inches of wire and you can uh, you can use that if you want so uh, let's get into it here on the bench and uh, we'll show you how it's done. Alright, let's uh, have a look what we're going to be uh, dealing with here for this um, accessory port box. So uh, we have the box, uh, used box, a little bit big but more for demonstration purposes than anything else. A uh, bit of multi-core cable. I think that's a uh, 6 or 7 core cable and that line around the place our uh, 13 pin DIN you can get these from Technofix uh, the seller Technofix on uh, eBay I buy all my connectors from him they're very very high quality uh, not like the rubbish that comes from China he's, uh, he's very good so that's that and uh, these are our RCAs so we drill a hole in the box, we bolt them on you have a ground tag and you have a hot tag so simple enough right let's get going so when you take the uh, 13 pin in plug apart that's what you end up with so you have your cover and the two halves of the shell So. That's got your clamp on it for the cable there. So we'll just put that stuff to one side for a minute. And something you need to be careful of with these um, DIN plugs, particularly if you're buying cheaper quality plugs, is that when you go to solder the pins on the back end here, um, the solder can melt the insulator and the pins will move around. Now these plugs I got are fairly high quality, but I came up with this, it's not very complicated, but basically what I done was I got this piece of soft timber and I put the pin down on it and I gave it a very, very light tap with a hammer just to leave the imprint of the pins. And then I got a panel pin, like a very small nail, roughly the same diameter as the, as the pins. And this actually will plug in. To the piece of wood and it'll hold all the pins in the right place and they won't move so uh, just a handy way of doing it you know and you can clamp that in your vice then and work away so I'll just get this cleaned up and ready to go right uh, so what we're looking at here is the section in the manual that deals with the accessory connections so you can see there there's our plug and uh, if you noticed on the little lad I made, <clears throat> I have everything numbered. So 1 to 4 is the top row, 5 to 8 is the second row, 9 to 12 is the bottom row, and 13 is the bottom pin. So we'll actually flip that over, and it's the same way. Like that. You just clamp it in device just makes it very handy for when you're soldering onto it so back to our manual here um 
we can see there our pin designations <clears throat> so we're going to be using pin 2 which is ground we're going to be using um, let's see we're going to be using pin 11 we're going to be using pin 3 uh, so that's our mod in and our foot switch you can use that for a foot switch because once that goes to short it'll or once it goes to ground it'll put the it'll put the radio into transmit um let's see what else will we put on it we'll use the we'll use the 13.8 volts out i suppose there's no um this shows you here as well on this section the colors of the wires uh coming out of the little pre-wired uh plug uh, that you get in the box with the radio so if you're using that it shows you the color of the wires so let's get going so um i've stripped our wire uh, and i got rid of the plugs or the i got rid of the cores i didn't want so i'm using uh, black pink purple and blue we we'll use black for a ground we we'll use purple for uh the audio we'll use the pink one for send and the blue one for the 13.8 uh, volts out so this cable I'm using is screened and the whole lot um, you can put this in a metal box or a plastic box it's up to yourself so we'll use this short tail end for the plug end of it and we we'll use the longer end where it goes into the box so we'll put the plug on first so Let's see. Oh, I'm trying to do this in a way that you can uh, you can see it. Right, so I have everything tinned. Uh, the pins on the plug and the wires, um, they're all done as well. So always get yourself into the habit of tinning everything. It just makes life a little easier. Now these things are awkward to. Uh, these things are awkward to uh, solder to because there's not that much room between the pins so we'll get the ground in first that's the ground uh, right so the pin beside that then is uh, send which we're going to put the red wire to Hang on now. So that's pin 2 done. Uh, the next one then is the audio, which is pin 11. Which is... This pin here. course you won't have to do this if you're using the pre-wired uh, pre-wired one that comes in the box so the 13.8 volt is pin 8 which is of course my hands are getting in the way very hard to do this as you can see it so that's our connections made just I show you here um, if you notice on the on the black section there's like there's two raised parts here and then on the other side it's a continuous raised part they correspond to the slots you can see there that's a continuous slot and then the other half is two slots so continuous slot goes there and that one goes there these are a little fidgety to put together Just hold it together squeeze that in indentation in the top of the the cover where it slides in like that so that's what holds it together so that's your 
13 pinned in plug but uh, have a go at the box end now right then uh, so what I've done now is I've uh, I drilled the box and I put three of the or uh, female RCA's on it you can see there I have it done just rotten inside mod send 13.8 you can add more of these if you want if you want to do uh, any of the other pin connections it's up to yourself and there's a hole drilled in the back for the cable to go in so let's get our cable into the box now we'll leave the grounds to last because there is a uh, something I want to talk about on that right then so let's see red is send I have all these pre tinned of course trying to do this in such a way now you can see what I'm at so that's send this is the audio and the blue is the thirteen point eight volts. You use that for like if you have a meter that needs to you know has a light in it or something like that. It's very low current, it'll only tolerate an amp, so uh, just at this point now we'll put a zip tie on the inside of the wire. Stop it pulling back out through the hole. Snip that lad off. Now on the grounds um the temptation would be to connect on to your ground and loop and loop you don't want to do it that way because uh, that's not the way to do it it can end up getting home and all sorts of stuff like that so I've cut these three black wires we solder those on Final one. It's my very fancy prop for the camera. <laughs> um, so the cable tie stops the cable pulling back out. You put a second one on it if you want to be very, very sure. So what you can do at this point then is you can uh, connect all three of those together. Right, so I ended up stripping them and uh, the three of them twisted together. <clears throat> Clean the iron. Right, so that's the three of them together. Now we'll uh, get a piece of heat shrink. Right, so we'll make our ground connection now. Always have all your grounds going to the same place rather than looping stuff together. It's just the best way of doing it. So, you can just tuck that down there and out of the way like that. So that's what you end up with. And then you can uh, you can put your lid on, like so, and make your little 
labels and put them on the lid for your modulation send or 13.8 or whatever it's you're using so you can plug your bits and bobs in there and uh, plug that into the back of the radio and uh, job done now that box is a bit big it's, uh, it's the only one I had around the place but having said that there's uh, there's lots of room in the box to work in it so so it's up to yourself like this is going to be in at the back of the radio and nobody's going to see it in there so you don't need to be uh, making it very small so that's uh, the accessory port infa interface for the uh, 7300 uh, I made one of these as soon as I actually had it made I think before I got it and um, I used all the connections but as I said I only used those three for the foot switch the mic input and uh, uh, in my case uh, actually I'm only using two because I don't use the audio out uh, I was using that for a while but uh, I only use those two so it's up to yourself what you want to do the 13.8 volt one I suppose is handy for connecting up an accessory as I said so uh, that's it for this video uh, join us again the next time and uh, we'll see what else we can rustle up for you to do this is George EI7 Kilo Oscar 7.3 and thank you for watching and remember if you haven't already subscribed hit that button and uh, press the bell so you'll know when we have uploaded again with another video and uh, we'll get you again soon 73 bye bye